Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching one of the most unique, enterprising and one of a kind zero to hero series. You have, my viewers and my students have seen or taken up multiple courses, either free or paid. But this particular course, guys, I'm telling you, this is going to be stellar, one of a kind and you know, it, it's very rare breed to find in the market. I know you guys have options to get into Udemy or YouTube or you know, hundreds of uh, open source free channels where you can find ton loads of topics on artificial intelligence. But over a period of time, people get lost. So what I have done is I have put together a comprehensive hands on practical training for those of you who really want to get into doing things, you know, or take the keyboard and connect the computer, do uh, start doing stuff like that. So uh, this is a new course called Mastering Artificial Intelligence in 99 Hours. Now there is a reason why I, I had mentioned 99 Hours. You will come to know very, uh, very soon. So. Uh, this is again, as I said uh, in the beginning, though this is zero to hero, but the viewers, the students are expected to have some bit of basic understanding on Python programming uh, because that is the key. In case if you need additional coaching on Python programming, you can reach out to me. I, I can do you. I can do some kind of hand holding and uh, stuff like that. So that's not an issue. But the speciality about this particular course is you will get to build everything from scratch on your own by looking at my lessons step by step guide and you will build ton loads of projects so let's quickly take a look at it what exactly i'm going to cover in mastering artificial intelligence in 99 hours so let's see so i'm going to share with you the lesson plan so basically lesson one orientation session that is basically this one this video where i'm talking to you guys right and then we will start with introduction to artificial intelligence and then you know applications of artificial intelligence introduction to chatbot you know different kind of applications using dialog flow that's what you're going to build creating your own chatbot using dialog flow it's going to get interesting and then integration of your chatbot with uh, the web server and Google assistance. That's something it, it's going to be pretty interesting exercise. You, you are going to learn overview on programming language for AI, especially on Python. So as I said, you know, I, I would expect you guys to have some bit of knowledge on Python. But even if you have zero skills, do not worry. You can still go ahead and take up this course because I'm going to share all the source code and libraries with you. So it, it's a combo package. And then uh, we will move on to installing Python Idle for from Visual Studio. So Visual Studio is the IDE we will be using. And I will show you how to install uh, from, from python.org as well. And the most important thing is setting up the environment variables for Python from, 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 the, from the command uh, window. So this is a pretty critical important uh, aspects. And I will also show you how to start with Python and then we'll move on to introduction to computer vision and its application like using OpenCV. We will install OpenCV in Python 3.7. I think the latest one is 3.9. CMake is one of the important uh, programs which I will show you how to install and configure in Visual Studio and start playing around with this. And then the CV, OpenCV libraries and how to install the libraries. It gets tricky when it comes to Windows or Linux operating system. Both the operating system has got its own unique challenges. So I'm going to show you both, right? And then we will do some basic programming on computer vision uh, on OpenCV. And I will show you the syntaxes, uh, more important syntaxes to be used, how, how it is used, why it is used and kind of thing. And how to read a frame when you are grabbing a frame from the camera how to do that, how you are going to process it. And then we will do some uh, object detection, moving an object detection using uh, OpenCV. We will also do face detection and I will show you some of the algorithms used for face detection, right? So it, it's a pretty uh, interesting uh, project. These are all hands-on projects, guys, by the way. The theory is going to be less and the practical hands-on is going to be more, right? And designing an application for face detection and tracking. So, you, you, you know, I, I'll show you how your your system can track the face as you move forward backward left and right and we will create a database of each and every face being captured and then i will show you the over high level overview of object tracking and the basic commands we will also use hue saturation value hsv 
for uh, tuning the colors and different parameters from 0 to 255 i'm going to show you what it means and how it works and stuff like that and also the object tracking based on hsv same like opencv and then the overview uh, workflow of uh, face recognition so so you need to understand how the facial recognition system works right from the scratch and how you are going to use android mobile uh, camera with your android phone to your application where you can do some kind of detection so it's going to get uh, interesting right and how to create a data set for face recognition you can capture multiple faces of your friends and how to create a data set for training purpose and then the actual face recognition using open cv that's that's a pretty exhaustive uh, project and then uh, face emotion recognition and installing the libraries that's uh, you know it's again one more project which 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 i'll show you how to build it from scratch uh, and then uh, of course there will be multiple application based on face emotion detection and uh, kind of thing and then i will give you an overview about deep learning why is it used where is it used what is a cpu versus a gpu uh, graphical processing and stuff like that and different libraries we will talk about neurons and activation functions and then the deep learning libraries very important thing how to install those deep learning libraries both on windows and linux operating system so you are going to learn both of those aspects and then we will also learn about applications of deep learning right followed by uh, cnn convolution neural network architecture so it's a pretty comprehensive uh, architecture guys so you know i am going to talk to you about uh, from the scratch of this particular architecture how the cnn works and how it is being deployed how the algorithms are integrated all those things you will get hands on and then uh, the syntaxes and functions to create a neural network i will also show you two different options one to create a neural network from the scratch and we can also take up the pre-trained uh, artificial uh, neural network ann uh, from the open source libraries and start working on that so we can do both right i'm going to show you both the methods and we will do a project on diabetics detection using neural network so that's going to be very interesting and some of the most important algorithms on deep learning we will also look at object recognition methods not object detection but object recognition you know I'll, you take the camera it'll say hey this is a keyboard and i'll also show you how to add a voice to that particular objects being detected so that's going to get more interesting we will as i said we will use pre-trained uh, uh, artificial neural network model like Mo mobile net ssd and stuff and then how to use uh, the syntaxes uh, when you are especially when you are using the pre-trained model you need to understand how to use the syntaxes for deep neural uh, network right and then how we will deploy those object recognition application into uh, using uh, mobile net uh, ssd so i'll show you how how we can do that on the cloud as well as on prem with a with a single board computer or or jetson nano or or raspberry pi or even an arduino or multiple other uh, say uh, uh, you know microcontrollers and stuff it it's going to get really interesting and then we will shift our focus to installing PyCharm because PyCharm is again, it's a beautiful IDE where, you know, most of the data scientists uh, and, and AI expert work on PyCharm. There is a reason I'm going to talk about that, the difference between Visual Studio and PyCharm. And then we will get into the interpreter uh, settings and image classifications overview on uh, CNN. And uh, I will show you how to create a data set, uh, data set from Google uh, using Python so that can be done and uh, resizing the images hand gesture recognition again this is going to be a wonderful project using keras uh, algorithm so i'm going to show you how to build a hand recognition project uh, from the scratch using python and using keras uh, uh, algorithm and then we will also do hand recognition uh, using computer vision open cv and then we will also use the same project hand gesture recognition using uh, cnn design with the arch with the cnn architecture and then, uh, you know, of course, I talked about uh, lesson number 51 earlier, designing neural network for leaf design detection, where you will design your own neural network with a customized, uh, you know, data set for leaf, different, different types of leaves from different plants. That's one of the interesting projects you will build with me, you know, and then creating a GUI using PyQtv5, uh, converti uh, converting to Python program. And this is going to be an interesting uh, project, Gujarati character recognition using CNN with GUI, right? It, it's going to be pretty uh, text to voice. We can do text to voice or text to text. Both we can do. It's basically, you know, uh, using the OCR uh, methodology. So you are going to learn about optical character recognition, OCR, and labeling the data sets and create your own algorithm. And then you can 
start detecting various types of languages and uh, do some translation so all those projects we will be building installing the libraries for ocr and labeling uh, reading using tesseract uh, ocr as well we will do face recognition using svm workflow and we will be creating face data set and de- registering name and role number in csv file right so you will be playing around with csv file and also i'll show you how to import data into excel and vice versa you can you can do both csv as well as excel so it's going to get really interesting you are going to build your own database of different faces and then characters and objects all these three things are going to get combined over a period of time by end of this uh, course and then pre processing and extracting features of data set as embedding using deep learning neural network training most important thing after we collect the data how you are going to train and deploy uh, the recognition model and we will also do two more projects on vehicle detection and tracking so that's going to be interesting project and then from there from lesson 63 onwards we will move into anaconda distribution uh, you know it, it's a pretty interesting uh, platform i will we, you will get hands on into anaconda and then license plate recognition number plate uh, license plate recognition of either a two wheeler or a four wheeler we, we will use open alpr on the cloud uh, for this particular exercise and i will show you how to install configure play around with the algorithm and you know build your own license plate uh, application and deploy on the edge on the cloud so that's going to be very interesting guys and then uh, we will move on to uh, you know deploy deployment of uh, alpr and landmark detection that this is going to be another uh, you know landmark uh, predictor drowsiness detection and landmark uh, predictor is going to be interesting uh, project there is going to be multiple other projects in and around the same topic for example road sign recognition using deep learning so that you are going to learn we will slowly switch over to machine learning aspects and uh, basic algorithms used in machine learning and i will show you some of the basic syntaxes on ml and how to evaluate machine learning algorithm this is going to be important because you need to understand which algorithm you need to use for which type of project what is the intensity of the data where you are going to collect the data what algorithm is required to get the accuracy the output right all those things you are going to learn here and then training in deploying machine learning algorithm for power monitoring system of energy meter this is going to be another project right and confusion metrics don't get confused i am going to talk about that and the feature extraction of the text workflow of syntax in machine learning algorithm face news fake news detection using machine learning this is going to be another project you are going to learn path solver another project the snake game another project and then we will move on to neural natural language processing i'm sorry overview of uh, nlp and uh, about the terminologies the nlp applications how to install the libraries like nltk in python how to import the library how to play around with the syntaxes and stuff like that so title generation and all these things you will read and the most important aspect we will also perform speech recognition using cnn training and test in real time we will collect some speech uh, data i will show you how to collect the data or you can record yourself from your friends and yourself and start building a speech recognition for yourself so i'm going to show you how to do that both in windows as well as in linux and then emotion or sentiment analysis of sentence on in tweets so this is an interesting project you will do again with me and list of popular ai cloud services that's going to be interesting again and then uh, you will sh- you will also work on the object recognition using uh, uh, on a imag uh, cloud and then uh, finally uh, these two are going to be most important whatever you learned in 97 exercise oriented projects i am going to show you how to combine all those and deploy either on the cloud or on the edge devices like raspberry pi and jets and nano so that this is very important guys so you are going to really really love it right so that's that's how this entire uh, course is going to be so you can imagine this 99 lessons is almost equivalent to 99 hours right that's why it's called 99 hour uh, mastering artificial intelligence so guys uh, you know i hope this is going to be uh, you know you are you are going to really enjoy and build your skills from the basics and you are going to enjoy this lesson now the most important aspect if you have to buy this course what is it going to be in you you know how much is going to burn your pocket well let's let's talk about it so basically 
this entire bundle is going to you know cost you just about 4999 which is kind of peanuts guys you know because i do a lot of charity stuff for underprivileged uh, students across around uh, in and around bangalore chennai and southern part of india so you, you know that that's why you know i i try to uh, make keep it as low as possible so what you will get of course uh, 100 video lessons which is downloadable you can download all my videos which i am going to share you can keep it on your desktop or your own google drive wherever you want to 30 different projects and then you will also get the source code for uh, python and c++ there are ton loads of source codes for each and every project so i am going to, as a part of the lessons itself you will understand how to use those source codes and deploy right and then different types of libraries which is already downloaded and kept for you ready to use so i can i will share you all those download, downloadable uh, libraries right and then the step by step instructions document which is in the form of a pdf and powerpoint presentation so you can refer to uh, both the documents while running the video side by side the video video series which i am i'm going to present and talk about right so you can refer to both and start doing things and on top of that one on one support that means you can reach out to me for any help on my whatsapp support whenever you get stuck in a specific project you have any questions you have anything you know certain topics which you don't understand that's where i pitch in and i will schedule a one on one zoom call with you and walk you through the entire uh, stuff wherever you get stuck so this entire bundle is going to cost you just about 499 which is just a peanut right so guys go ahead and uh, pick up this course mastering artificial intelligence in 99 hours i want to build a solid you know pool of ai experts all over guys you know if you have the attitude and the mindset you can learn you can become an expert very soon i will see you goodbye